game week once again here. I know last week in Memphis didn't go the way you guys wanted to. What kind of positives, lessons you guys take from the game? You know, our, our defense gave up 59 yards rushing to one of the better um, FBS rushing programs. Only gave up nine points in the second half. Um, I, I think our defense is playing really well. Um, you know, that's a game that we're we going to give everything we got uh, to win. At the same time, you know, in, in, in the crazy world of NIL and all this, I mean, the, the separation between our level and the next level is growing even bigger and bigger. Um, but to see the way our guys competed, that, that, that's, there's so many good signs that we can take out of. we got to settle down a little bit on offense and, and stop turning the ball over. That's been our biggest problem on the offensive side. But there's so many good things that we can learn from that game. Like you mentioned offensively, turnovers in you know, the first couple of weeks have been a problem. Uh, just what kind of things can you guys work on here in practice to kind of alleviate the problem? Uh, we got to make better decisions. I mean, uh, most of our turnovers have been uh, interceptions. You know, ball security side of things. We had one ball security issue last week with with a running back fumble. Uh, we, we, we work ball security every Tuesday and Wednesday. So that's something that we're going to continue putting a big emphasis on. But the biggest one is the decision making, getting the ball out of our hands, uh, making sure my feet are set when I try to make throws. Uh, so those are things that when, when you bring in a quarterback that gets here in the summer, he, he didn't have time with the receivers like in spring ball. Those are little kinks that you're going to continue working out in the first couple games. Illinois State, uh, you know, just like you guys played in that BS team the week before, what kind of things you learned about them in that game? I mean, they're, it's six to nothing at halftime against Iowa. Uh, Iowa's a solid, hard-nosed, hitching the mouth football team, and the way that they played that 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 tough opponent showed a lot of grit, showed a lot of toughness. Um, you know, Iowa had to create some explosive plays with just guys winning in one-on-one -on -one matchups. Um, so I think they're a solid, very good football team. So we've got to strap it up. We got to be ready for an old, hard-nosed, uh, smash-mouth football game. Got a home game finally on the road the first two weeks. What's it going to be like to stay here in Florence on Saturday? Well, it feels great to sleep in your own bed on a Friday night. I know that. I uh, get to tuck my kids in, uh, wake up, have breakfast with them. Um, use it in a better state of mind as a, as a coach when you get to do those things. But but to see our home fans, uh, to see our families, to see um, our student section, to be able to perform in front of a band that, that's one of the best I've ever been around, all those things uh, feed this team and bring energy to us. So um, I think we'll be able to benefit from all those things of playing at home. What do you want to see all your guys here on Saturday? And you want to see a win. I mean, uh, we, we fought, we battled. You've seen uh, 13 games of this program since I've been here that, that fight and battle, that have leads, that have to have time leads. Now you want to see a win. Now you want to see a finish. And uh, to get a win against a program like this, a solid program, would be big for us moving forward.